Hello learners this is Jyoti Mandral I am an assistant professor in department of management studies at Uttarakhand Open University In today's lecture we are going to study short run and long run equilibrium in monopoly market So the contents for today's lecture are firstly we will we will discuss monopoly then demand under monopoly demand curve under monopoly then marginal revenue and average revenue curve under monopoly then we will discuss short run equilibrium under monopoly and at last we'll discuss long run equilibrium under monopoly so let's start firstly let's understand what is monopoly so monopoly is a combination of two words mono and poly mono means one and poly means seller so monopoly is a market situation in which there is only one producer of a commodity with no close substitutes there are three necessary conditions of monopoly the first condition is there must be a single producer or seller of a product if there is to be monopoly this single producer may be in the form of an individual owner or a single partnership or a joint stock company if there are many producers producing a product either perfect competition or monopolistic competition will prevail depending upon whether the product is homogeneous or differential on the other hand when there are few producers or sellers of a product oligopoly is said to exist so in case of monopoly there is one firm in the industry second condition which is essential for a firm to be called a monopolist is that no close substitutes for the product of that monopolist firm should be available in the market if there are some other firms which are producing close substitutes for the product then there will be competition between them in the presence of this competition a firm cannot be said to have monopoly so monopoly implies absence of all competition the third condition of monopoly is that there are strong barriers to the entry of the firm wherever there is one firm having a sole control over the production there exist strong barriers which prevent the firms to enter the industry may be economic in nature or as of institutional and artificial nature in case of monopoly barriers are so strong that prevent entry of all firms except the one which is already in the field so now we have un understood what is monopoly and what are the three basic conditions which are essential under monopoly now the next we are going to discuss demand curve under monopoly in a monopoly competition there is one only one seller and huge number of buyers due to which there remains no competition for the seller and no substitute for the buyers therefore a monopolist has ultimate control over the price of the commodity which is known as monopoly power of the firm so monopolist firm has a downward sloping demand curve as any increase in price will cause the quantity demanded to decline however it is not horizontal as in the case of perfect competition because the goods have no perfect substitutes and the monopoly firm is the sole producer of the goods so here in this graph you can see that 
on the x axis the output is given and on the y axis the price is given so we can see that if the producer or uh, if the monopolist wants to sell a huge amount of quantity of the goods then he has to decline the prices now marginal revenue curve and average revenue curve under monopoly market so marginal revenue curve lies below the average revenue curve because the marginal revenue will be less than the price or average revenue when monopolist sells more the price of his product falls marginal revenue therefore must be less than the price average revenue curve of the monopolist slopes downward mr is the marginal revenue curve and lies below ar curve now short run equilibrium so short run refers to date period in which time is so short that a monopolist firm cannot change fixed factors like machinery or plant etc monopolist can increase his output in the response to increase in demand by changing his variable factors that is labor in short run equilibrium whether the firm makes an abnormal profit or normal profit or loss it depends on the level of average cost and average revenue which can be shown as follows the first condition is if average revenue is equals to average cost the firm receives a normal profit the second situation is if average revenue is greater than average cost then the firm receives abnormal profit as the revenue is greater than the cost the third condition is if average revenue is less than average cost then the firm bears the loss because the cost is greater than the revenue so the basic conditions which are necessary for a firm under equilibrium are the first condition is marginal revenue must be equal to marginal cost so this is the first condition of equilibrium the second condition is marginal cost curve must intersect marginal revenue curve from the below so now let's understand the three conditions under short run equilibrium so the first condition that is abnormal profit so here in this graph you can see that on the x axis abnormal profit is given and on the y axis cost revenue and profit are given now see the first condition that is marginal cost is equals to marginal revenue so here we can see that the condition if the first condition marginal revenue equals to marginal cost is obtained here then the second one condition that is mc curve cuts the mr curve from below so here you can see that at point e the second condition it is also satisfied because here the mc curve the red color line this red color curve it is the mc curve so you can see that this mc curve is cutting the mr curve that is the blue line curve so here this point e it is the point of equilibrium now let's to find the average revenue we will extend this line up to point b to get the average revenue so to find out the profit the profit is profit equals to average revenue minus average cost 
So here the average revenue, here you can see that the average revenue is BQ. And the average cost is QA or we can say AQ because this A point it is touching the average cost curve. That's why it is the average cost. So the profit equals to BQ. The profit equals to BA. So BA or you can say PC. This whole region that is the shaded area it is our profit. So basically PC BA is a profit. So here you can see that the situation here the situation that is abnormal profit because the average revenue is greater than the average cost. Now let's understand the second condition that is abnormal loss. So here on the x-axis the loss is given or you can say the output is given and on the y-axis the revenue is given, the price is given and the cost is given. So here you can see that this blue color line the, which is downward sloping that is the marginal revenue curve and then the, this black color straight downward sloping line it is the average revenue curve and here this red color line it is the marginal revenue curve sorry marginal cost curve and this blue color line that curve that is the average cost curve. So here we will draw the average cost curve above the average revenue curve because in case of loss the average cost is greater than the average revenue that's why we are drawing this average revenue curve above the average cost curve above the average revenue so the here again the point of equilibrium it is at e because at point e the Marginal revenue and the marginal cost they are equal and the marginal cost curve it's it is cutting the marginal revenue curve from below. So the formula for calculating loss equals to average cost minus average revenue. So the average cost the point of equilibrium it is at E to get the average cost we will extend the line up to point B because at point B it is touching the average cost curve. So average cost will, will be BQ and the average revenue will be AQ because at point A this point A is touching the average revenue curve. So it will be A. Q. So the loss will be B A. Sorry, it will be B A. So here you can see this shaded area. This is the loss. B A is equals to P C. So C B P A. It is the loss area. Now let's understand the third condition that is normal profit. So here you can see that in this figure on the x axis the output is given and on the y axis the price, the average revenue and the average cost is given. So here in this figure we can see that the point of equilibrium is at E where the condition that is marginal cost is equals to marginal revenue here you can see this and the marginal cost it is cutting the marginal revenue curve from below you can see here so this is this point e it is the point of equilibrium and here you can see that the le equilibrium level of output is oq so this oq this is the oq so this is the equilibrium level of output. The revenue here you can see that at OQ level the revenue and the cost are at same level that is OP. So here you can see that at OP 
this point the cost and the revenue they both are at same level so here the firm just earns a normal profit to sustain the business in this case now let's understand long run equilibrium under monopoly so long run is a period when all factors of production are variable output can be increased by increasing the application of all factors of production in the long run the scale of output can be changed due to restrictions on the entry and exit into the monopoly market the firm earn abnormal profits in the long run also as the firms can sell more output by reducing the price of the product the demand curve or average revenue curve of the monopolist they slopes downward now in the above graph lmc and lac are the long run marginal cost curve and long run average cost curve respectively to attain the equilibrium the first condition that is marginal revenue is equals to long run marginal cost and the second one long run marginal cost curve cuts the marginal revenue curve from the below are fulfilled at the oq level oq output level if the output of the firm is priced at op1 and long run average cost at op then it will earn abnormal profit of pb ap1 which you can see in the above figure that is the region which is graphed thank you